So if you have a puppy that has a hard time latching onto the mother's nipples, here's a tip and trick that'll help, especially when they're just born, um, getting them to latch. So stay tuned. litter we're whelping here i have a puppy um she's she struggled a little bit with latching on the nipple especially um you know within the first 24 hours it's normal um especially when the puppies were just born sometimes what you'll find is puppies will have a hard time first latching when they first get on here's a little tip and trick i've been practicing this with her already and she's already getting better at it and it's only been within 24 hours so i want to show you guys real quick what you can do in order to um, get newborn puppies to latch onto the, the mother. What you're gonna go ahead and do is grab one of the nipples and start massaging out, and I probably should have gloves on, whatever. Uh, you're gonna start massaging out some of the milk. What you'll do is I take the mouth and I try to like, I try to get the mouth as close to the nipple as possible. I also try to pry with my finger it open. Once I get it open enough, they'll usually latch on. And once they're latched on, um, a few things can happen. If she's not producing enough milk, sometimes I'll, I'll sit there and you see, yeah, she didn't get on. So same thing, I'll take my finger, lift it up a little bit, get some milk going out of here and you have to kind of like, you know, yank, uh, not yank at it, but pull downwards. And as you can see, we got milk again, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, there she goes. And every so often, if I need to, I'll, I'll massage it while she's on the nipple, but right now she seems like she's all right. And you just, you gotta be patient, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't happen like immediately, but uh, as you can see, we're getting her on. And, and, and the other thing too, is that you have to be mindful of, just hours before, the puppy wasn't eating like this. It's the instincts that have to kick in. Sometimes what you have to do is bridge the gap. So uh, I remember when I first got started um, and I had puppies and I was wondering, I was like, why aren't they latching, you know? So uh, I had, you know, my mentor showed me and, and we did the same exact thing. We massaged the nipple and got some milk out. So then the puppy smelled it, the puppy got it, even tasted it. Cause what, like yet again, what we did was we pried the mouth open a little bit so that they were getting some of that milk right down the tongue and wherever that source is coming from, they're gonna want, they're gonna want more. And like I said, that instinct is gonna cause them to now, once she's on, she's already uh, expressing more milk for herself, as you can see right here. Like I said, I've done this like once or twice already with her. So as you can see, she gets she, she, she's just getting better and better each time. But I just wanted to show this to you guys real quick for people who just had litters or whatever the case may be. Don't get discouraged. Um, but what you do need to be mindful of is the puppies need to eat you know, every two to three hours. Not only that, but they need to use the bathroom with every feeding. So the key thing as a whelper, as whelping, is you wanna make sure that the puppies are going to the bathroom and whether you're having the female lick them like she was just earlier, licking them to stimulate them to go to the bathroom or you're manually stimulating themselves with something, you know, and you're wiping their genitals to make them go to the bathroom. That has to be every feeding and just making sure that they eat every two to three hours and just doing stuff like this so then their instincts kick in, you know? Um, like I said, if you can get them to latch on the mother and the mother's producing enough milk, if you can get them to um, go to the bathroom and the mother clean up after them, it's a lot less work that you have to do. You don't have to bottle feed and do all that stuff. So like I said, she's getting the hang of it, you know? So, and each time they'll get better, they'll get stronger, things like that. So um, what you do wanna do is, you know, just you can massage the nipple and check, make sure milk is coming out because you don't want them just suckling for nothing. And one of the things to be mindful of, you usually have 24 to 48 hours where you need to get the instincts to kick in for everything. Otherwise, it just creates more work for you and it's gonna be harder. The instincts that you wanna make sure that you instill, that your females are cleaning the puppies and that your puppies are all latching so you don't have to do that work. Um, and you usually wanna have that going within 24 to 48 hours. I mean, especially the puppies latching, otherwise you're just gonna be bottle feeding the whole time or tube feeding or whatever. 
So the key thing is within 24 to 48 hours. Make sure your puppies are latching and they're feeding and make sure the mother is also producing enough milk. After this feeding, we're gonna go ahead and weigh the puppy to make sure that she's gone up in weight. If not, then we will have to supplement with milk or tube feeding or whatever the case may be. Um, as well as the great thing is we haven't had to stimulate these puppies to go to the bathroom because she's been doing it for us because she's a great mama. Um, but we make sure they do that within 24 to 48 hours. Those instincts kick in. Uh, those maternal instincts as well as the instincts for the puppy. I'm right here, mama. It's all right. So um, anyway, I think we're pretty good now. She's, 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 by the next feeding, I probably won't have to do anything. I can just put the puppy here and she'll just jump right on. So anyway, guys, I just... Um, this is a little bit of information that was taught to me when I first started, so I thought it might be helpful to one of you guys somewhere out there. Drop a comment if you did find it helpful, if you did find it useful. Anyway, guys, I got other puppies to take care of and stuff like that, so hope this information was helpful, hope it was useful, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Breeders Hacks.